in the midst of the assembly, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. He clothed him with a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. May the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the feast of the great medieval saint, Dominic. The Dominicans and the Franciscans in their early formative years were quite close. As time went on, there were some um, disputes between the two. But St. Francis and St. Dominic were good friends and always wanted their orders to be friends with one another. Traditionally, in both orders, the feast of the other founder for the Franciscan St. Dominic, for the Dominican St. Francis, was observed with almost the same amount of pomp and circumstance as of their own founders. In areas where there were communities of both friars, it was customary to join in with the other community as they celebrated their founder, their father. So, even today, the Franciscans celebrate St. Dominic's Day as a, a feast day, just slightly below the St. Francis. And the Dominicans do the same with St. Francis. So today, we celebrate this feast in honor of St. Dominic, the friend of St. Francis, the founder of the Dominican family. As we begin this Mass, we pause, as we do at each Mass, and call to mind our sins and ask forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, other Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. We are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you have enlightened your church through the teaching and merits of the blessed confessor, Father Dominic. May the church, already deprived of help on earth, but always advance in spiritual growth through his intercession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. the letter of Paul to Timothy. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is coming to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing in his kingly power, I charge you to preach the word, to stay with this task, whether convenient or inconvenient, correcting, reproving, appealing, constantly teaching, and never losing patience. For the time will come and people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires will surround themselves with teachers who tickle their ears. They will stop listening to the truth and will wander off to fables. As for you, be steady and self-possessed. Put up with hardship, perform your work as an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. 
Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The dark mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. Holy Father Dominic, mindful of your works, stand before the face of your most high judge, O your group of poor ones. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but what if salt goes flat? How can it restore its flavor? Then it is good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Men do not light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. They set it on a stand where it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before men, that they may see the goodness in your acts, and give glory to your heavenly Father, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. Francis and Dominic were two sides of the same coin. Both were called to preach and to teach. Dominic was called as the brains of his order. He founded his order of preachers to go out and preach and teach and to study so that they may be better equipped for this preaching. St. Francis, on the other hand, was the heart. He was called to speak and teach the simple folk, to show them by his life that even though they may be poor and unlettered, that they still had a place in the kingdom of We still need both of these types of preachers and teachers. Francis was supposed to have said at some point, preach always using words if necessary. And he also told his brothers, let us begin to do good, for up to now we have done little. St. Dominic was, according to the legends, destined to be a preacher from before his birth. There's a story, a legend, shall we say, that his mother had a dream that when, when she was pregnant with him that she was carrying a black and white dog in her womb.
it's funny because it's a play on words. The order that Dominic founded are called the Dominicanes. And it's a, a, a Latin pun to turn that into dogs of the Lord. Canes, dog, Domini, Canes, dogs of the Lord. And the black and white dog of the Lord was a reference to the Dominican habit, which was white, a white tunic, white shoulder cape and scapular, over which they wore a long black cape with a, a black hood on top. And so the story is that this dream of Dominic's mother was foreshadowed a foreshadowing of the child she was carrying who would be known as the dog of the Lord. But be that as it may, Dominic spent his life preaching the good news of Christ. And he walked all over Europe as far north as, as um, Sweden and possibly Norway all over the south of France, Spain, Italy. He was known for his love. He was a humble man. He wanted his friars to be poor, like the Franciscans, although even, even so he never stressed poverty quite as much as Francis did with his brothers. Like Francis, he gathered not only priests and brothers, but he also nuns and laity in his community, his Dominican family. And they're still, even today, the priests and brothers, the nuns, the sisters, the laity who follow Dominic, who follow his way of life, and attempt to serve him to, rather, to serve God in his footsteps. So let us pray now. Let us pray for the church that, like Dominic, it may always be concerned with serving God's people, preaching and teaching, always with love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the followers of Dominic, that they may continue to walk in his footsteps as he followed Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our communities, that they may always be of service to God's people, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout the world, the peace that passes all understanding, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick and suffering may be given healing, given strength, may be given courage. For all those who care for the sick, that they too may be given strength and courage. For all those who seek to end sickness, hunger, and thirst in our world, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, and especially rem remember our deceased Dominican family members, the priests, the brothers, the nuns, the sisters, the Dominican laity, that they may all be received into a place of light, rest, and peace, together with Dominic and all of his followers who are now on the other side. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them, for those we have promised to pray for, those who stand most in need of our prayers, that they may be given the graces needed most in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thanksgiving for the successful surgery of my cousin Henry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own petitions.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear these our prayers, which we join with the prayers of Dominic as he stands before your throne. Hear us and help us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness never spread to offer for churches given in human hands so tender, but have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Maybe come to share a little bit of good practical with yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness here this wine to offer for the divine act of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Sanctify the offering we have dedicated to you, O Lord, that it may restore us to health and the merits of, our, of your blessed confessor, Father Dominic. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right, just, proper, and helpful for its salvation that we always and everywhere give thanks to you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the glory and defense of your Holy Church. You will restore the apostolic way of life to the blessed patriarch Dominic. Always strengthened by the help of the mother of your son, he stamped out heresy by his preaching, established champions of the faith for the salvation of the nations, and won innumerable souls to Christ. Peoples proclaimed his wisdom, and the church declares his praise. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominations, and all the militant hosts of heaven, we continually praise your glory in song and say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. Come to you, Father, in the spirit of thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and to bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. 
We offer them through the Holy Catholic Church, much older and guided, granted peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them through Francis the Pope, through Stephen our Bishop, and through all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray, for all of our Dominican brothers and sisters around the world, and all those who strive to follow in the footsteps of Dominic. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. In union with the whole church, we honor the memory of the saints. We honor Mary, the Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ our Lord. We honor Joseph, her husband, the apostles, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, and John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, the Sagarus, John and Paul, Carabinus and Damian, the martyrs, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers gain us your constant help and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, accept this offering from your whole family. Grant us your peace in this life. Save us in final damnation and count us among those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Bless and approve our offering. Make it truly spiritual and acceptable. Let it become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. The night before he suffered, he took bread. And looking up to heaven to you as Almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. So now, Lord, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son, and your people and your ministers recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as you did the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your priest, Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven, and as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, Lord, those who have died. For all of our deceased members, family, friends of the Dominican family, for all whose lives have been touched by the Dominican, through whose lives have touched theirs. They have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and are now at rest, with these and all who sleep in Christ, finding your presence, light, happiness, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. For ourselves, too, we ask a place with your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Through him you give us all these things, you fill them with life and goodness, you bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxieties. As we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. You grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Receive it. have granted him his heart's desire. He refused not the wish of his lips. For you welcomed him with goodly blessings. You placed on his head a crown of pure gold. Let us pray. Almighty God, through the intercession of your blessed confessor, Father Dominic, sustain us who are weighted down by our sins. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And let us pray the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Holy Father, St. Dominic, pray for us. St. Dominic, Light of the Church, pray for us. St. Dominic, Day Star of the World, pray for us. 
St. Dominic, preacher of grace, pray for us. St. Dominic, rose of patience, pray for us. St. Dominic, most zealous for the salvation of souls, pray for us. St. Dominic, most desirous of martyrdom, pray for us. St. Dominic, evangelical man, pray for us. St. Dominic, ivory of chastity, pray for us. St. Dominic, man of an apostolic heart, pray for us. St. Dominic, doctor of truth, pray for us. St. Dominic, example of poverty, pray for us. St. Dominic, rich in purity of life, pray for us. St. Dominic, burning as a torch for the salvation of sinners, pray for us. St. Dominic, trumpet of the gospel, pray for us. St. Dominic, herald of heavenly tidings, pray for us. St. Dominic, rule of abstinence, pray for us. St. Dominic, shining as the sun in the temple of God, pray for us. St. Dominic, enriched with the grace of Christ, pray for us. St. Dominic, clothed in heavenly robes, pray for us. St. Dominic, resplendent in the choir of virgins, pray for us. St. Dominic, father and leader of his order, pray for us. St. Dominic, that the hour of death we may be received into the heavenly kingdom, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, righteously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Father Dominic, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, Almighty Lord, that borne down by the weight of our sins, May, by the intercession of our Holy Father, St. Dominic, be mercifully assisted through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Through the intercession of St. Dominic, priest, doctor, and founder, may the Lord bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray for us, O blessed Dominic, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, assist your people who have fallen yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature, you were your creator, yet the many of origin after is before. As we receive Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us, poor souls. 